Hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hope your day is doing well. So my name is Garmdan, and uh, currently I have picked up the new, uh, I think this is Series 3 of the Team Fortress 2 action figures. Um, and I'm looking to do a little bit of a review on them. So uh, I have the Blue Engineer, the Red Medic, the Red Sniper, the Red Scout, and the Blue Spy here. So these guys were actually a little bit hard to come by um, because they were a little uh, expensive per se. Uh, currently they don't have them on the official Valve store like things like the like the Blue Heavy that you see up there. Um, or, uh, I'm also about to get a Red Soldier but that guy hasn't uh, come in the mail a while. Um, I do have to apologize again, my videos aren't that, uh, you know, super in-depth, serious, um, I don't have any official rigging, and I'm doing this in, uh, just sort of my room here, um, so sorry for any shaky camera movements or anything like that, but I'm just gonna do a small, v uh, review here, I won't be showing off the in-game codes because I do have to eventually cash those in, uh, if you want to find out what, uh, codes that you can get from the different characters, uh, just take a look on the Team Fortress 2 wiki, um, Personally, uh, out of the ones that I have gotten, um, it's good stuff right now. And because the uh, Red Scout, um, Red Medic, and Red Sniper are very hard to come by, um, their hats are worth quite a little bit. Um, that being said, though, um, I've found that a lot of people have been t uh, picking up the Blue Engineer and Blue Spy at Target. Um, now, I'm Canadian, so um, Target for me doesn't really exist. Uh, so, for example, when I did go to Target, uh, the Spy here, uh, as well as the Engineer, I found them just sort of on a shelf, and when they checked uh, into them, they actually had negative one in stock of uh, both of them. So, uh, I, I guess I'm really fortunate to finally find a, a comic shop near me that did have the additional red ones. Um, so just how uh, this is sort of going to go, uh, again, I do apologize for the sort of shakiness of the camera. Uh, is whenever I'm opening one of them, I'm just going to set my camera down um, because I don't have any like official rigging or stuff. I'm going to open it up, uh, sprawl everything out, just to show you how the figure looks and that sort of stuff uh, compared to the red counterparts if I do have them. Um, and then uh, we'll sort of go from there. Uh, so I'm going to be opening the Blue Spy first. Um, so why I am opening them is because I'm not too, too big into like, uh, you know, um, collectibles and packaging and that sort of stuff, despite the um, pop vinyls that you can just sort of see right there, um, just because I have no reason to open those. But these guys actually have their in-game codes and that sort of stuff, uh, so I will be opening them. Now, uh, I'm leaving the back card undamaged uh, with this because... Um, the back card does have a little bit of information on the classes, um, and supposedly it's like Spoiled Sniper's name on one of them, so I'm going to keep that guy there. Um, I'm, I'm just going to try and do it in as best as possible. I know this is a little bit boring to look at for right now, but uh, so I'll just put the nice little uh, back card there, make sure that the thing isn't... Yeah, so, um, the Spy, you get this nice little card here, um, the, the code's on the back of this card, so I won't be showing that, but, uh, um, there is the blurb, if I can get it to focus, here, it's a little bit, there we go, yeah, so there you go, um, there's a little blurb on him, um, I believe the beta version of his description was actually different what it's according to the trading cards uh, anyways but I'll open up the figure here and we'll just take a look now these figures are a little sort of hit or miss um, because uh, their eyes can be quite off I mean I'll show you my red spy uh, to sort of show you what I mean here in a moment here uh, you can just see them in the background just like right right about there yeah, right there. Um, so yeah, and again, I do apologize. I'm I'm not uh, I'm not the most like professional when it comes to these. I just wanted to do a little review because I don't think I've actually seen anybody else do a review um, on these figures, um, and I just want to wanted to sort of um, you know show you, show you what you're get, uh, getting for your money because they these guys aren't cheap. Like they're they're like a thirty forty dollar action figure each. 
I do apologize for the crinkling. This is gonna, the figures are in here tight, um, so just watch out for that. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to put all the accessories and stuff just beside them. Uh, just before I do, go ahead and do all that little sort of thing. Um, now, you'll see when I'm doing this that each of them do come uh, with like spare hands and that sort of stuff. Um, and you're, you might be asking to yourself, well, where can I store these sort of hands? Because, you know, uh, I might, you know, lose them. I mean, I know when I picked up the Demo Man, which was my first one, uh, I lost the hands and the, the extra hands. And I think the Sticky Bomb Launcher is somewhere, uh, sitting around in my room somewhere here. Um, but, uh, I'll show you what I did with that. Um, so here is the Spy action figure. And as you can see... The eyes are a little bit weird, um, if it'll focus, come on thing, yeah the eyes are a little bit weird if you can see that, yeah there we go, not as bad as the red spy though, um, I mean the spy, probably one of my like least played classes, but I, I still enjoy, you know spy, I mean I, I deck my classes out in the actual game. Um, so he has a lot of good points of articulation, as you can see here. Um, of course, I have to hold the camera, so I can't really do this. Um, but the quality feels really good. It feels like good, high-quality plastic. I mean, NECA products are also uh, usually pretty good. I mean, they did the Left for Dead ones as well. And you can see he has a, the revolver hand and the sapper hand with him currently. And let's see if I can get that to focus. Uh, maybe not. Come on. Here, let me. It's a little hard to focus on this. I don't think we can. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so he has a, he has a different uh, hand here as well. This is probably the knife hand, which I will be using. Um, and I'll show you what I do with that once we get to the engineer. Uh, but he got, does come with his revolver there. Let me see if I can... Nice attention to detail. It has the trigger, the hammer, everything like that. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoy the NECA products. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to seem to focus. Okay. Well, I won't waste too, too much time because this is already going into the seven minute mark. Um, we have the sapper here. Nice, nice little touch into detail. I mean, if it would focus here, I could show you everything, but... Yeah, there we go. See, nice little attention to detail with these. Um, so yeah, that's what the spot... Oh yeah, and the, and the butterfly knife, of course, I almost forgot. Pretty basic. Nice little thing. So yeah, that's the spy there. Overall, I like him a lot better than the red spy because uh, I'll get that one out here. Just give me a second. Put that back there. Should have done this beforehand, but again, I, this isn't really the most professional. Oop, I can stuff over. All right, all right. See if I can focus on his eyes. Here, yeah, you can see they're a little bit off in comparison. Um, so that's uh, the red spy's eyes. Uh, yeah, red spy's eyes versus the blue size or blue spy's eyes. And see, they're a little bit janky, of course, because you know it's hard. They're they're hand painted apparently. Um, but you know the blue spy. I find is uh, a little bit better constructed because it is from a later series. So I'm just going to put this back into the box here uh, with all of its parts. Uh, I'll keep the hand and the sapper out though because uh, we're going to be doing the blue engineer next. So I'll just put that there. And there's the blue engineer. For some reason he has a red toolbox and I will go into that. Um, I'll put that back down here and we'll open up this guy. So, I, I know I apologize quite a bit uh, for like the lack of like 
polish in these videos. Um, and I guess that's just because I don't want to do this as like a full-time hobby. Um, or I don't want to spend the money on it anyways. Um, and that's mostly because like, especially YouTube right now, uh, there's a lot of like politics. I mean, if anyone's seen that sort of uh, uh, YouTube Rewind and that sort of thing, that's been going on there. Um, I'm just going to put these guys right here. All right, so engineer card, and yeah, back of the thing, back uh, back of the the thing is um like a top secret sort of thing. Although, um, the quality in that specific sort of like class based um sort of oh, sorry team based sort of thing is really sort of lost um with these action figures to the blue anyways. Um, I feel like the third series is just sort of rushed in order to complete the contract that they had, and I don't think they'll be doing the um, blue versions of the medic and that sort of stuff, but I could be wrong because the promotional items are already sort of listed on there. So um, let me just get this guy out and we'll go from there. Yeah, I just hate the crinkling of the, the thing and I don't want to, you know, be interrupted by it, so... I'm just going to stay silent for a moment while I am doing this so that you don't miss any important information that I might say. Enjoy the free ASMR, I guess. Maybe it should become an ASMR channel. <laughs> All right, let's... Looks like his rubber glove is caught. Just give me one second. Gotta get the glove free. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Let's just put his arm a bit forward. Lift it off that stand. So here's what you're getting with the engineer. So you get his wrench and the pistol and his toolbox, and they they didn't paint it blue. I mean the red one got his, um, and it the red one was a little bit hit or miss on the um, like I said beforehand uh, on the toolbox because uh, this little segment here likes to come off. It's easily reattachable, but. Um, I don't know, was, Series 2 was a little bit shoddy in my opinion. Um, I, I like the quality that they have going forward. Um, I think the last time I spoke to the TF team, like two years ago in 2017, uh, I think that was a, a problem that they were having, so they were sort of looking to cut ties with NECA, uh, from what I understand. Don't t take that with a grain of salt, because that was a couple years ago, and I could just be completely wrong. Um, so let's start with the engineer. Um... The fig, the engineer figure has been one of my favorites, and it's not just because I play engineer, but it's just a nice figure. I mean, it looks a little bit unpainted, actually, from this angle. I think it is just a little bit. Um, he has this sort of, like, goatee beard thing going on. I don't know if you can see that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, but this... Um, the lines on this figure are a lot better than the than the red one there, um, and I think that's just because they it might have been just someone different painting it, but it looks really really nice. Um, so here, ooh, and I dropped the wrench. Just give me one moment. I hate it when it's stuff like that happens. All right. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. There's the wrench. Nothing to really scoff about. Just a pretty basic uh, mold and color scheme. Doesn't have a lot of the charm. But uh, then again, I don't really think a lot of people open there, so they can't really enjoy this. 
yeah, it's it blurry or not. There's like literally no difference. I don't even see the rivets on the actual handle of this wrench. Pistol, on the other hand, that one's nice. They've uh, they sort of changed up their pistol scheme um, with the coloring. Let me see if I can just grab that. Come on. Sorry, I gotta. Here, I might put this down to get it in focus. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, ni nice uh, in-depth pistol. Um, the pistol can uh, go into the engineer's pouch, which uh, feels like, you know, what they did for Meet the Spy or whatever. That That's pretty cool. Overall, this is nice. Now, the one thing that I will suggest it, when, when getting these things is an engineer is an essential to the... Um, entire collection because of this toolbox. So the toolbox actually does open. Looks like this one is glued on a bit better, but as you can see it fully opens. And I just always put my extra accessories, like a sapper and stuff, inside there um, so that they don't get lost. So if you're not using them, I would totally suggest that. Uh, so I'm just going to put this guy back in his box here. Then we'll move on to the ones that I've been really waiting for, which is uh, the Medic, Scout, and Sniper. If it will let me here, because everything's a bit jostly inside these boxes. Come on, thing. We'll just leave that to the side there. Yeah, so if, if you're going for this collection, I would recommend getting um, the Engineer at least first. Um, because a lot of the other accessories um, that you can get uh, are almost essential um, to, to sort of having that toolbox. Uh, otherwise, if you do have like a special bin that you can use or something like that, that's good too. Um, I think next we'll do Scout. Scout is by far probably the closest to his actual like class. Um, I mean, he does have a little bit of a weird face going on. But then again, it hasn't been as bad as that red spy, so I can't really complain. Um, so with this guy, you get the bat and the pistol, it looks like. Um, oh, and you do get the scatter gun, but it's hidden behind there. Here, I'll get that out. So yeah, according to the pictures, I didn't think he had the scatter gun, but on closer inspection, it does actually look like he has it. So again, apologize for the crinkling. I'll be going silent for uh, just a second here. very chemically smell uh, when you open it. So I did appreciate um, that haul video that I, uh, the reception to the haul video I got. Um, so thank you all to those who stuck around and stuff. Um, as many of you know, I didn't initially think I was going to stick it onto YouTube. Uh, but unfortunately, Reddit has a certain size limit when it comes to their files. Um, so I really couldn't upload it there. Maybe they just have a, a bit of. Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh, and Scout comes out super easy, too. Except for the legs. The legs are a little bit jaunty, I guess. I'm very impressed with the props for the uh, for the newer ones because they they really went all out. Like as you saw, uh, I wish Engineer came with a shotgun or like a rescue ranger or something. Um, so here's Scout. Scout is really well detailed. I don't think mine came with the little headpiece there, or it could have just fallen off. Um, I'm gonna have to rewatch the footage anyways. Let me zoom in on his face again. Gotta grip it a little bit better here. Okay, come on. It's the only thing to zoom in on. Come on. 
There we go. That, that should be good enough, hopefully. I have a very shaky hand, so I do apologize. Good, good detail. I like how they included the bag and stuff. This guy's pretty basic, though. Um, as his character design, which is probably a good thing, because, you know, Scott, Scott's not that sort of person that really needs to be, um, endearingly different. Uh, I will notice one thing, though, um, oh, actually, never mind, that makes sense, because the bullet release, or, sorry, um, the mag eject, what am I saying, bullet ejection is on this side, so, yeah, good attention to detail on this one, you know, highlighting it with a couple, you know, a little bit of black paint, and, I think the pistol is different. Well, compare that in a moment. And then you got the bat. Um, is it a little bit? Ah, yes, it does have uh, the dent in it. So, I don't know if you know, but uh, the bat in the actual game does have a dent in it. Um, where the, you know, sticker is or whatever. I don't think there is a, a sticker on this one, but it still looks really nice. Um, even the electrical tape on the bottom... Has a nice attention to detail. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, come on. Again, I can't apologize enough for you know the lack of professionalism, but this is sort of like a quick review. Just uh, either like a buyer's beware or something. There's a scatter gun. Nice scatter gun. Would have liked if this part was brown, but mm. can't get it a hundred percent. It seems. Um. So yeah, uh, Scout is probably the best one so far. Uh, I mean, like, he looks the most faithful to his. Um, and it looks like all of his stuff uh, can actually be, uh, I guess, equipped without having, um, a, you know, like, outside hands and that sort of stuff that you sort of have to store away. So I'm going to put that back on there. And of course, I do have to show the back card yet. So let me do that right now. Okay, so there's the Scout. Yeah, and then there's his bio. Yeah, again, sorry for the wobbly camera. I'm going to pick it up uh, a little bit more full when I'm doing it. If that makes sense. Probably not. Because when does, do my videos ever make sense? I want to say Medic for Last, because Medic is probably going to be my favorite. Um, we'll do Sniper next. So, Sniper is probably the one I'm going to be most disappointed in for a couple reasons, but I'll go into that in a second. Okay, open it up now. Oh, it's split in the other... Okay, the box is a little bit damaged uh, on my copy. Uh, but it seems to hold enough together to not be a problem, so that's good, I guess. 